banger. Listen to this. Okay. Got them elbow screens with them elbow screens. Got them elbow screens with the J's on the bottom. Got them elbow screens with the J's on the bottom. You see them? I got them with the J's on the bottom. Got them. What up, my kings and queens? It's your boy, Kings23 Kicks. Back in the building, back in the castle. Finna make it happen for y'all today, man. Dropping another video, dropping another banger. Y'all already know what it is. So today, hey man, UPS was nice to me. They came real early. When I say early, I'm talking about they came like eight o'clock early. And usually that don't happen. Um, so it's okay, it's all good. Definitely not complaining about it. But your boy finally got him in. Appreciate it. I mean, I wasn't able to hit on the raffle. That's cool. Um, kind of getting used to not hitting on the raffles, man, in these draws. Um, so I didn't hit on neither raffle, neither draw uh, for these, but I finally got them in today. Um, so I just woke up. It's crazy because I woke up Saturday morning. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give it a try on sneakers. Normally, honestly, I don't hit on those. <clears throat> Excuse me. I normally don't hit on those, but your boy actually did, which is really surprising and I, I was shocked man so you know my issue came in today and one of these days man we're gonna talk about this 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 here this 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 Nike just do it just come steal me type stuff that they got here man um I'm not understanding why they do this um and when I say they when I say you barely knocked on the door it was more like a Barely even heard them. And normally I usually see the UPS truck out my window or whatever, or I hear them, so I'd be looking for it. But I knew I was getting it today. And normally I get a, if anybody else said deals with UPS and FedEx, I do have the apps on my phone, so they usually tell me when it's coming or to be expected. I didn't get none of that at all. But just to get into it, you know, I gotta bring out my knife. Y'all make sure y'all do not play with knives. Man, let's, let's get into it, bad boy. Um, the seat stuff, y'all already know. Actually, I'm pretty sure everyone's already seen the reviews on this, um, or probably already have your pair. That's okay. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. Did you grab these or not? Or did you already have them? Um, but. I had to do this for my records and my purposes, man. So, y'all already know it said Jordan 1 Nike box. Shattered Backboard 3.0. Now, I must I must be honest with y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck. Y'all always know. I always keep it a buck. When I first seen these, trash. That's exactly what I said. And was standing by it because when I look at patent leather, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting to see crinkles and stuff like that in the pattern leather. So when I first seen these, to be honest with y'all, I said they were trash. You can go back and look at my videos. I did say that. But um, as I've seen other people get early pairs, as they were saying, but come to find out those were uh, UAs. You people were getting, basically they were getting fakes. But for some odd reason, just looking at it more and more, it was kind of growing on me. And if anybody's a sneakerhead, you know, you cannot like something out the gate just looking at the pictures. But once you start seeing it, uh, especially if you're seeing it more and more, it kind of grows on you sometimes. doesn't happen all the time. When I went to Atlanta uh, Sneaker Con, I actually seen them on feet with somebody. And I, I, I must say... I was I was feeling it, man. So I mean, here they are, the Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Now I seen a video the other day. Someone took theirs and they matted them. They literally scraped the the gloss off the shoe. And um, I, for me, it wasn't meant to do that. Now. I had the Chicago, uh, Chicago to LA, LA to Chicago ones. I still have my uh, Paris, New York to Paris ones. 
those were meant to rub off, but I haven't done it. Um, I'm not going to. But here you have it. I feel like just. I feel like just leave the shoe intact the way it is. I'm not gonna sit up here and do that. Now, like I said, looking at these in hand, um, I found that the other people didn't have this lace bag and it was all fake or whatever the case may be, man. But um, looking at these in hand, man, uh, honestly, these are fire, man. Um, just just feeling the the leather. It's not as it's not as hard as I, as you would think. So for those of y'all that didn't get them or you plan on uh, rocking these or grabbing these, the leather is not as stiff. Well, at least not in the toe box. You can see it's real, real mushy there. Um, but the crinkly leather and it's being patent leather, that was the thing that I had to get, uh, I guess you can say I had to get over. Because when I see patent leather, like on a Jordan 11, I'm used to just straight, you know, pristine leather. Like, When I see patent leather, I want to see patent leather, you know, straight. So when I initially seen, um, so when I initially seen these and I seen they were quickly, the pictures, to be honest with y'all, it looks most wor much worse in the picture. Um, but these, man, I'm going to do the one without the lace bag. Um, I don't know what Jordan is doing, like I was saying in my last video when I was doing my uh, crown of clown, but something about the crinkly stuff that they're doing lately is that they're they're kind of applying it. Um, and this is the second shoe that I've seen with the crinkly patent leather. Now, my uh, first class flights, you know, those guys were crinkly. When I first seen them, I was feeling them just because it was a different colorway and I do like bright colors. I like the yellow that was on them. and. I thought the leather was stiff, but then once I got them in hand, and then when I copped them, the leather was way softer than what I thought it was. Now, the shiny part on here, I'm not gonna lie to you, it does kind of glisten and pop, so to speak. You know what I'm saying, so it's popping. You can see that, but they're really not that bad, man. They're really not that bad. So, I mean, without all the extra light on it, you really can't tell that much. Um, of course, you know, you got your inside in there, Nike, Air, Brandon, uh, Nylon Tone, your Nike Air in orange. Um, and this is one of these ones, <laughs> I actually want to kind of, I want to pop these out, you know what I'm saying? I want to wear these this weekend um, just for uh, Halloween. Now, I'm not a fan of Halloween. I really don't give two ways about it. Uh, it's just one of those things where, you know, they came out with these at the right time. And I'm kind of, I'm so glad that they came out with a sail bottom versus coming out with a white bottom and a white midsole because I think that white would have just really clashed it. It really would have clashed it bad. The sail just kind of makes it flow with it. Now, I, I wish I had some sail shoestrings because I actually would try these with sail shoestrings. Do I have any, I don't have anything with sail. But yeah, I would definitely try these with some sales shoe strings to make, you know, just to see, just to do something different. Because I don't know if the orange will look as good, to be honest with y'all. Because the orange looks way different than the toe box. And I'm thinking that's just because the toe box is shiny. It's different material, of course. You can have the same color, but different material. So it's going to look different on it, on the shoe. But for me, I don't know. But at the same time, y'all know me, it's about the drip. It's not necessarily about the shoe. You know, I can put on some fly kicks, throw on some jeans or some sweats or shorts and a tee and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, I'm to me, I'm dripping to me, in my opinion. I don't care what y'all think or whoever, who, what, whoever thinks whatever different. But that's the way I am. Um, but y'all comment down below. Let me know, did you guys grab these? I know compared to everybody else and other YouTubers, you know, I'm hella late, but at the same time, hey, I, like I say, I get what I get because I like what I like and I get what I like. And I wasn't able to cop it early 
it was just scaring me, man. Just like the Travis Scott six. When when you have shoes that's out there that people don't like, but then at the same time they hyping up, and then they start coming out with all these, uh, I guess you can say fakes and stuff like that. And you don't know if you're getting a real pair. I get real leery about that. So that's why I, when it comes to early pairs, sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on what's going on because I do not have time for the shenanigans. Um, but I do have a nice little plug and I'm working on a couple of more because if I can get it early for you guys and give you a review, I will do it. But let's mind you, you guys are got to understand those early pairs do cost. So you got to pay to play. Y'all know how that goes. But, hey, I'm really feeling these. Um, I like the, the leather uh, on the medial side. You know what I'm saying? You still have that Nike swoosh looking good. And, you know, I can, I can definitely pull this off. You know what I'm saying? Um, lateral side, you have Nike Air Jordan wings. Um, I'm really feeling this pair. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys like these? Did you grab a pair? Um, I... I'm, gonna do a, I'm not going to do it on feet. I was going to do it on feet, but I don't know. I'll at least give y'all some B-roll. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know. There you go. Got to be my, uh, my thumbnail. So, like I say, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? SneakerCon Atlanta was banging. It was definitely fun. Um, I do plan on going to SneakerCon Chicago, which is the weekend of my birthday. I really want to do that. Um, that wasn't what I was planning to do, but I found out about it, and I really want to do that. Um, but y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about these Shatterboard 3.0s. I'm really feeling these. Wasn't able to get the actual shattered backboards or the reverse ones. I do want those, um, but y'all know how I am. I got a problem with paying. I got a problem with paying resale prices. Um, I'm a retail guy. I'm just saying. I'm not balling like that. But y'all appreciate y'all for tuning in to all my kings. Stand up, and all my queens. Stand beside your king, and always, always remember it's always the right time to do the right thing. Y'all make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, share the channel, share the videos. All of that stuff helps me out, helps out the algorithms, and gets my videos shown. And I cannot do it without y'all, the kingdom. All right? Y'all have a great one. Have a great weekend. Peace. When stressing me, coming from the bottom, moving straight to the top. Yeah. Coming with the put up for the number one spot. Yeah. Pushing my rap, like a push out on the block. Yeah. Holding my ground, so I rappers get lost.